Hello friends, welcome to the Genesis IS. Today we are going to discuss about choosing the optional subject for UPSC CSC. Uh, optional plays a very important role in the men's examination, as you know. So let's discuss about this. So um, optional is very important for fetching the good mark, and it will decide your name in the list. your rank and also the service allocation so here are some optional subjects and uh, the uh, number of students appear for that uh, uh, that optional subject and the recommended by upsc means selected subject selected uh, candidates so as you can see here in the list uh, medical science has maximum number of success rate maximum success rate so you can choose any of the subject according to your interest you can choose anthro sociology all science or pad etc so how to choose the optional subject there is a uh, first you have to see the syllabus of that uh, optional subject and then then see the previous year questions and the notes for that and uh, choose two to three optional subjects and then decide from that uh, optional subject uh, which one to uh, choose at last so don't choose the uh, optional subject immediately uh, 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 and don't choose the subject because your friends uh, friends are uh, friends are taking the subject and major of majority of students are taking it uh, choose the subject according to your convenience and according to your interest interest is very important for the optional subject as uh, you are going to uh, read the subject whole year and then uh, you are going to um, Give the men's examination. Uh, uh, there are two papers in the optional subject, so it is very important to choose the optional subject wisely. So we will discuss about the syllabus of uh, optional subject uh, that is PSIR, uh, Political Science and International Relations. Uh, today we will discuss about paper one. So let's start with the. let's so let's start with the syllabus uh, paper 1 political theory and in uh, indian government and politics section 1 political theory political theory meaning and approaches here the definition of political theory is given you can go through it and we will discuss about we will discuss we will discuss about it more in the later videos so there are two approaches uh, traditional approach and modern approach uh, in the traditional uh, approach uh, this is a value based approach and uh, it put emphasis on the values more than the facts here it is very important to important values are very important than the facts you will not understand this uh, uh, right now but uh, later on you can you will understand this more clearly so in modern uh, approach Uh, it is a new a new perspective and uh, it is to minimize the deficiency of traditional approach so the next uh, part of the syllabus is uh, theories of the state it will include liberal theory mm, neoliberal marxist theory pluralist theory post colonial and feminist so liberal in liberal theory there is hobbes locke and in marxist there is marx and other thinker so uh, the next is uh, justice in justice uh, there uh, the in justice topic there is conception of justice with the um, special reference to the raw theory of justice it is very important topic and uh, uh, it's a critic communitarian critic the next is uh, equality social political and economic equality then relationship between equality and freedom and affirmative action uh then the next topic is rights uh, meaning of the theories 
different kind of right concept of human rights then democracy in democracy classical and contemporary theory different mode models of the democracy that is representative participatory and deliberative uh, in the democracy always there is a concept of power hegemony ideology and le- legitimacy the next topic is political ideologies it includes liberalism socialism marxism fascism gandhism and feminism the next is indian political thought it in धर्म शास्त्र अर्थशास्त्र बुद्धिस्ट ट्रेडिशन सर सैयद अहमद खान सर अरविंद देन एम के गांधी एंड अम्बेडकर एंड एम एन डॉ दीज आर इंडियन पॉलिटिकल थिंकर्स देन वेस्टर्न पॉलिटिकल थॉट इट इंक्लूड मार्क्स ग्रामसी हैन आर एंड प्लेटो एरिस्टोटल मैकेवली हॉब्स लॉक जेस मिल then this was the syllabus for the uh, psir paper 1 section a and now we will discuss about the paper, uh, section b it include mainly includes indian government and politics in paper paper 1 political theory and in indian government and politics section b indian government and politics first point is indian nationalism it includes political strategies of the india's freedom struggle constitutionalism to the mass satyagraha then non cooperation movement then civil disobedience movement then militant and revolutionary movements then peasants and um, workers movement this is also in the gs paper uh, then perspective on the indian national movement liberal perspective social and the marxist perspective is there and human uh, radical humanist and that is perspective is also there then making of the indian constitution legacies of the british rule different social and political perspective then next is uh, um, silent features of indian constitution it includes preamble human rights and uh, duties then directive principles parliamentary system amendment procedures judicial review and basic structure doctrine then four topic is uh, principal organ of the union government it includes envisage role and actual working of the executive legislature and supreme court same for the state governments also envisage role actual working of executive legislature and high court then the fifth topic is grassroots democracy it includes panchayati raj municipal government then significance of 23rd and 24th amendment and grassroots movement sixth topic is statutory uh, statutory institutions and commissions uh, it includes uh, election commission control ruler and auditor general that is cag and finance commission then upsc then national commission for scheduled caste national commission for scheduled tribes national commission for women the national human rights commission national commission for minorities and national backward classes commission so the next topic is federalism it includes constitutional provisions changing nature of the central state relation inter um, integrational tendencies then uh, national aspirations and interstate disputes then the next topic is uh, planning and economic development it uh, includes neorian and gandhian perspective then role of planning and the public sector green revolution land reforms and agrarian revolution the uh, agrarian relation then uh, liberalization and economic re- reform then the next topic is caste religion ethnicity in indian politics then the next topic is uh, party system it includes national and regional political parties ideological and social basis of the parties then patterns of coalition politics and pressure groups tendencies of electoral behavior changing socio economic profile of the legislature then the next topic is social movement it includes uh, civil liberties and human rights movement then women's movement and environmentalist movement so uh, 
we have seen the uh, this topic uh, for the UPSC CSC uh, CSI subject. So let's meet in the next for the paper two.